This is the Alfa Romeo 8C. It's a car that many of us have heard about, but a car that not many of us have had a chance to see in the metal. Produced by Alfa Romeo between 2007 and 2010, after making its debut at the 2003 Frankfurt Motor Show, it was clear that this was going to be a hit amongst automotive purists. The 8C got its name from the fact that it has 8 cylinders, which means, that's right, you've guessed it, my 4C got its name from the fact of it having 4. A for effort for the guys at Alfa for picking that name. But names aside, there was around 1400 orders for the Alfa Romeo 8C, however only 500 coupes and 500 spiders were produced, ultimately making the Alfa Romeo 8C a collector's car. The Alfa Romeo 8C runs the 4.7 litre Ferrari dry sump V8 engine, producing 450 PS or around about 444 bhp and 350 foot-pounds of torque. This gets the 8C to 60 miles an hour in just 4.2 seconds and delivers an incredible noise on its way there. The 8C runs a 6-speed transmission and weighs just shy of 1600 kilograms. If you wanted to get yourself into an 8C nowadays, you're looking at prices close to 200,000 and they are still rising. And on that note, we shall move on and take a look at what Classics at the Villa has to offer. This is one of those events that um, I think, unless you really come here, you don't really understand or experience like the kind of culture behind it because it is such a good event and I'd recommend anybody to come here. Loads of these guys have come here now, which is amazing. But next year, more of you need to come because it's so nice and it's all for a good cause. But um, let me show you some of my favorite cars here today. We've got the Giulio Quadrifoglio entering edition here in the matte grey, obviously limited edition, 108 of these made with the carbon roof on the top, it looks beautiful. We've also got the carbon mirrors, of course the matte paint is pretty much spectacular um, and the carbon additions on the front. Oh, I do love the Giulio, so that here is another car which is uh, right up there with one of my favourite, but for me, I think it's still one of these. We've got loads of cars, obviously we've got an Aston Martin here, lovely Alfa Rally car. It's, uh, yeah, it's very, very nice. Uh, my other favorite car, and this is probably a bit biased, is mine. No, I'm only joking, just there's a couple of four seats here. You've got one of mine, uh, which is obviously black coupe. You've got a white spider over there, it looks really, really nice. And then, of course, we have the F40. A car that is very, very special, a car I grew up looking at. This was the poster car, wasn't it, guys? I mean, for those people within kind of my age range will, will remember the F40 was just the car everyone wet themselves over. And the thing is with this car as well is it's, everything's exposed, it's so old school. I mean, if you look through there, I don't know if you can see it, you can see the turbos in there, which is absolutely insane. But yeah, the, the, oh, the F40, oh, sorry, the F40 is... Uh, it's a very, very special. Another thing here, there is loads of alphas here. I didn't really read as I think it's because I've been over the other side of the of the event, but loads of them are turned up. Look, the entire row of the, I think it's the Alfa Romeo Owners Club uh, UK. Cars everywhere, 147s everywhere. Some Julia's about. Loads and loads of lovely cars here. As at any car show, which seems to be my thing lately, it's, uh, oh, Patrick's 4C looking really good. But pizza time is a good time. Let me finish uh, indulging on my uh, my Italian pizza and inhaling some calories, and I'll be right, right back with you in a minute. Oh my word, I've just realized, look at the size of the calipers on this. Are these stock? I guess they are, they must be on the AMR version of this, of this car, but wow, they are massive. Really, really nice. Look at the interior. Stunning, stunning. You've got kind of like fluorescent kind of green accents on this car. It looks mega. And then on my right, this is something special as well. This is a Corvette Z06 or Z06, whatever you want to call it. Supercharged lump. This is absolutely rapid. 
this one here, I love this one so much. I think it's Steve's one. This looks so cool with the ultra Legera wheels on it. The kind of double blue black paint just looks superb with the S4s, a front diffuser. Obviously, Jerry's Biposto always looking good. Oh, thankfully, he's left the window open so I can show you the interior with the CAE shifter as well. I think this one's mapped, I think it's over 220 horsepower. Um, but again, a very special car, the Biposto with the safe belt seats and the harnesses, and also some very cool kind of graphics here. Uh, I do like what Jerry's done. Oh, yes, look at that. That is amazing. Paul's in the mix. How are you? Sunshine. Yeah, really well. Are you enjoying the event? Yeah. Yeah. She's about the fourth, fifth it's, year I was going to say. Event the yeah, and I mean it's a good turnout to start with. But I mean, what do you think about kind of the you know it's a mixture of all sort of all kind of cars. Yeah, I, I welcome all cars. Yeah. Event. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's it's nice to mix things up. Yeah. No, it's really good. Great selection of kind of Italian culture cars and people just having a good time. Look at that. They're, oh, they are. They're all mirrors. No, you're right. They're they're all mirrors. They are. Oh. Hello, Jerry. Hello. How is it going? I'm sorry. I'm sitting to catch you eating your chips. No, uh, no problem. How's the how are you finding the event? Brilliant. You, We've been the last couple of years. Yeah. The first, we were over there like a dozen. Yeah. About same last year. Now this is another little bit of magic right here. Look at this kind of yellow old 595. Look how small these little fight these are baths are. They're mad, and this one here, this for me does it. I love what's been done. I love what's been done with this one. Kind of the 595 kind of scorpion bits here, and we've got Punto's making noise. But we've got little scorpion accents everywhere. We've got the Abarth 595 kind of stripe along here. We've got the Fiat Abarth kind of link in between the two of the windscreen wipers, which looks so cool. And if I come around here, what else have we got? Look, we've got the Campioni del Mondo here as well. Loads of little above tributes. The size of these wheels, guys, what are they? I think they're like 12 inch. Yeah, they're 12. They are 12. Like, it's insane. Oh, that's a good little shot there. If I pull back, look at the size difference from this little thing to the newer 595. It is just so cool. And I mean, this one, actually, this is a really good example. It's so clean. So what about, what would you think of the event? How cool is this, right? Brilliant event. Great turnout, great weather. Um, yeah, the weather's, the weather's a big part of it. Yeah, it's good to see. Yeah, yeah. is it the first, of, first time you've been to this first one? First time I've been here, yeah, yeah. this one. I'm it's, coming back again. Oh, it's, it's lovely. It's a very underrated event. I don't think it gets publicised enough, but I mean, just behind you, there's so many kind oh, of different I mean, cars. and F40 up there, and, uh, loads, of, loads of nice Ferraris yeah. up there. Brilliant. I would recommend going up to have a pizza in a bit shortly. I think I just see he pulled out a pizza and looked, looked quite nice. It, it did. Quite good. <laughs> no, but mate, well, enjoy, enjoy the rest of the <laughs> afternoon whilst I go and chase this N ring down that's running away. No One second. <laughs> quickly so you can see it moving Julia Quadrifoglio N-ring looks insane but yeah no good to see Rick from the uh, the Bath Mafia uh, with his adrenaline adrenaline green 505 looks nuts <laughs> dude that sounds amazing man amazing and what's your other car uh, the Fiat the 500 or Fiat Abarth Rivali. There you go, see, Rivali owners also own Ferraris. But dude, Thanks pleasure, man. Thank no, thanks for the look after yourself, buddy. I'll see you soon. Take care. Quickly before Mark runs off. How are you, mate? Yeah, great. How, was, Thanks, how, how have you found the event? Yeah, yeah, really good event, really good turnout. You, you came last year with me as well, didn't you? I did, yeah, I did indeed, yeah. And what was your favourite car here this time around? Yours. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, <laughs> There's a like a Shelby looking Mustang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Spot on. Spot That's on. really cool. Spot on. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, that's amazing. Amazing. Mate, congrats. This thing is clean. Thank you, man. It's really clean. How's it going? All good. It's been a good day. It has, hasn't it? Out. Daughters are out jumping around, terrorizing everybody. Yeah. But yeah, it's, it's, it's been a good day. Um, the birth guys, everybody's here. It's loads of us, isn't it? But yeah, loads I decided to bring this car over. It's my passion. Yeah. Right now, I mean, it's my dream car. Everybody asks me, what's your dream car? All of, all of these, and I've always wanted one of these. A Mark on GTI. Used, yeah, because my dad used to drive one. Yeah. So that's the reason I'm passionate about this car. Mate, so, amazing. Yeah. It's so clean. I'm really, really pleased to see it here as well. Oh, we've cool. talked about it a few times, but I've never actually seen it in the flesh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Oh, well, mate. Welcome to it. Thank you for yeah, filming no, it. Appreciate no, you're it. welcome, mate. Have you indulged in some of the Italian food up there as well? Always. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. My, my, my GTI on the shirt looks a little bit deformed because of that. It's a bit wide body now, it's is it? Oh, mate. Ah, I finally managed to get this thing on film, mate. 
<laughs> How are you, buddy? I'm very it's well. Good to mate. catch up. Yeah, How's yeah, things? How's yeah, things? Really good, mate. She's looking good. I finally got hold of in a bath. Oh, well done. Well, happy with well done. How are you finding yeah, it? Yeah, no, nah, lovely, beautiful to drive. <laughs> They're great fun, yeah, aren't they? It's really nice. And the whole atmosphere as well of everyone here is just fantastic. Yeah, no, it's a really good community, isn't it? Really, really good. Yeah. yeah. What about? Are you finding the event here? It's lovely, isn't it? It's thank God that the day's turned out the way it is yeah. right now. Do you know what I mean? So uh, yeah, fantastic. Really, Weather, really good. Weather's been good. Great selection of cars. Good selection. Yeah, yeah. Great people. Great food. Yeah, I was going to say but you indulged in some. I have. I've been up there, mate. Yeah. It's a difficult <laughs> choice to decide whether you want a bit of ham, some salami, some pizza, some burgers. A bit of everything. Bit of everything, mate. There you go. There you go. So, yeah. But yeah, no, really, fantastic. really good event, and the guy, the organisers, have done a really good job with it. See, they think of everything here. They know that it's on the same day as the uh, Spanish Grand Prix, so they provided a, a seating area for everybody to come who wants to to watch the uh, Formula One, of course. <laughs> oh yes, I'm on to a winner now, guys. <laughs> this this is what it's about, guys. Bubblegum flavored ice cream, two scoops. Uh, but I'll take this moment right now before I indulge and destroy this. Just to kind of say a massive thank you to Juliana and all the guys who invited me down here yeah. today. Like I said, the whole thing is for a good cause. So if you've not been to one of these before, make sure to come down to one of these. They are absolutely incredible. Food, culture, lifestyle, cars, anything you want to see is definitely worthwhile coming. But anyway, I'm going to end today's video here. The weather's been amazing. We're very fortunate here. Great amount of cars. I'm going to enjoy my ice cream. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you all very soon on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye -bye.